Target spot. A target spotlight is used to create spotlights. Spotlights shine a light and project rays from a particular source of the light towards a particular target. We're going to create that spotlight by going up into our command panel. We're going to choose our create tab. We're going to pick on the lights button. We're going to hit the down arrow and pick standard. Down here in the object type, we're going to pick target spot. It's going to ask me to pick a location here. So I'm going to just pick, hold my left mouse button down, and I'm going to aim for the target. You'll see that blue line is aiming at the target. I let go, and I got a target position. Now I'm going to right click, and now I have my light in there. A lot of times after I place my light, I like to position it and move it. So I'm going to pick on my spotlight. I'll go with the move command. And I'll take my move gizmo and I'm going to move it around and I'm going to position it so that we can see it pretty well here. Alright. And there we are. So now that I have it positioned, you can see my spotlight. I'll right click and now let's go and take a look at some of the properties of the spotlight so I'm gonna go and pick on my spotlight I'm gonna to go to modify and we've already looked at general parameters and intensity color attenuation I want to come down here and take a look at my spotlight parameters In my spotlight parameters I can show the cone in the viewport or not show the cone if I overshoot lights going to overshoot the, the circle of my spotlight so it's not really going to be contained by the spotlight so I'll uncheck that we have two major areas we need to worry about spotlights the first one is the hot spot or beam that is the round circle that shines on the performer so we can make that size anything we want here and I'm going to bring this size down a little bit I'll go down to 15 and you can see that these size changed in here Next, I'm going to take my fall off and I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. I'll go down to 20. And so there I change that. Okay. Um, so here I have my target and here I have my, my spotlight. All right. And I have changed the shape, uh, the size of those beams. Now, Let's go and take a quick peek at my rendering here. You can see how the light comes down and shines on there. All right. So maybe I want to change it a little farther fall off. I'll go up and now let's go take a look at what happens. Now I get a bigger ring of light. Okay. I'll keep that. I'll make my my hot spot that shines on the performer much smaller. And now I'll come and do a rendering. You'll see my little hot spot is a little smaller in the area here. Now, I'm going to change it to a rectangle. You can see how the box shows up here. So I made it into more of a box shape. And theaters have these. I'm going to go into my rendering. And you'll see that it gets a little more boxy in shape for my, my light. So I can change those. So the key thing is, when a spotlight is, where do you want to position it? So you use your move gizmos and get it in there. You might have to use your rotate gizmos, right? Then, make sure it's targeted at the right spot, aimed at the right spot, okay? Then, you want to come down and set your hot spot and then your fall off, all right? So your fall off has to be bigger than your hot spot. And... Once you have that set up, run a little test rendering and make sure you get what you wanted. All right. Now down here we have a bitmap file. In here I can fit a bitmap on this projector. I can turn in this spotlight into a projector and shine in, uh, an image onto there if I like. And this aspect ratio keeps the proportion of your bitmap uh, to a particular aspect ratio.
but mainly what most people use for a spotlight is just the general spotlight here and we use the hot spot and the fall off and it's usually a circle for the most part and so the key is position it set your hot spots in your fall off right and you'll have it in that regards and then run a test on your rendering